We learned late today that President Obama is about to end the ban on federal funding for embryonic stem cell research. He will reverse eight years of Bush administration policy on Monday when he signs an executive order freeing up funds for the research. But while this science holds great promise, it does remain controversial. Here's Lisa Stark. Of our newly Scientists tonight told us they are overjoyed by the news, saying Monday will be a, quote, great day for science and for patients. It's going to make an immediate difference. It's going to energize us, and it's going to make available to scientists nearly a thousand new stem cell lines that we haven't been able to use for the last eight years. The president's move will free up federal dollars for more widespread research on embryonic stem cells, the so-called master cells of the body, which researchers hope will lead to cures for diseases such as diabetes and Alzheimer's. This is one of the fastest moving areas of science, and yet we've been restricted. We've been operating with one hand tied behind our back. The move will be controversial. Using human embryonic stem cells means altering or destroying embryos in the process. I'm concerned for the short period of time. They're going to kill a lot of unborn children uh, as they do this. In anticipation of the president's announcement, the National Institutes of Health has been working on ethical guidelines for how this research will be carried out. Even supporters know it's an extremely sensitive issue. At the NIH, we need to establish really robust oversight because there are ethical issues here. For now, it's enormous relief for families such as the Ryans. Tim Ryan and his two children all suffer from type 1 diabetes. They've been pushing hard for this change. We've lost eight years already that we're just excited to see that the research finally get a chance to prove itself or not. This sea change won't happen overnight, but as one scientist said, it will finally allow this important research to move forward with the government's help. Lisa Stark, ABC News, Washington. And a couple of other notes.